Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about a very interesting relationship between the centroid, orthocenter, and circumcenter of a triangle. And we have learned about these concepts in our previous videos. And also, I am adding the links in the description box so you can watch them again. And now for this, let's draw a triangle, and let's draw the centroid. and centroid is the intersecting point of medians and then now let's draw the orthocenter which is the point of intersection of the perpendiculars of all three sides and now let's draw the circumcenter which is the intersection point of perpendicular bisectors of all the three sides and now let's join all these three points and we know that the orthocenter centroid and circumcenter are coincident they lie on the same line and this is the euler line and now let's see how these points are aligned if we change the shape of the triangle to we see that centroid is between the orthocenter and circumcenter and the distance between the centroid and the orthocenter is double the distance between centroid and circumcenter so the ratio is 2 is to 1 always and now if we have a obtuse angled triangle we see that the circumcenter is always outside the triangle opposite to the largest angle and the orthocenter is also always outside the triangle opposite to the longest side of the triangle or we can say on the same side as the largest angle okay now let's see if these three points are concurrent at some situation so yes when it is an equilateral triangle these three points along with the in center are concurrent at a point and wasn't it interesting and for more interesting things just stay tuned and see you all